El Nido. We're going with the boat. Yes, it's gonna be taking us four hours. We'll be there at around four o'clock. Hopefully the weather is supposed to be good, but according to AccuWeather, it's gonna be raining mostly the whole week, but we'll see, we'll see. The weather has changed here in Quran from what the weather actually said, so we're hoping that it's not true. Yeah, but amazing to stay here in Quran. Thank you, Quran, for this really cool trip. Quran. See you guys soon. Buena Vista. We just arrived. We took a pedicab to our place. Uh, this is how it looks like. I really like never getting seasick, but this time it was like in the end of the uh, boat trip I got a little bit sick. It was a really rough sea this time, but it was nice coming here to the ports. It was really, really wonderful. It's a wonderful view when you see the lime cliffs as soon as you just get here. And now today we're just gonna eat something at the beach here and then tomorrow hopefully we will go to Nakpan Beach and the zip line because the rough waves might be still tomorrow, so... generous with the food and then in a couple of hours we'll be going to Nakpan Beach to experience the beautiful beach in the whole world.
will be good. Again, it's very windy. Uh, I think that's why the waves are high. We haven't really gone to any of the tours. Word is, we can't verify if it's true or not, but yesterday a boat sank doing tour C, which is unfortunate. These waves, as you can see behind me, are they really wailing at it. Uh, hopefully, everything will be good. It is an amazing beach. With a trip from El Nido town taking around one hour, we just relaxed and strolled along this four kilometer long beach. Luckily, it wasn't that crowded. There were a few vendors who wanted to sell souvenirs or cheap dry bags, but apart from that, you could basically walk yourself to an area of the beach if you wanted to be alone. Some newly established resto bars are located nearby on the small road. Here you could get some good fruit shakes for about 100 to 150 pesos. After a 4 hour stay at the beach, it was time to continue our day to the Los Cabanas Resort, south of El Nido town proper. Getting to the Las Cabanas Beach Resort with a tricycle cost around 150 pesos for two and will roughly take you around 10 to 15 minutes from El Nido Town proper. Comparing it to the beach in El Nido Town, the beach here is clear and clean, which is ideal for swimming and to bask around in. Walking along the beach gives you this feeling of how Boracay was before it got too crowded. This place was surprisingly beautiful and you're basically surrounded by an amazing natural scenery at every turn that you make. Other than that, you'll notice that there are some resto bars, huts, and hangout places along the beach. Perfect for further enjoyment and actually staying at the beach. In order to ride the zip line, you need to pay for it first. It wasn't clear from the beginning where the pay booth was located, but eventually we found it with the signs as we were getting closer to the Las Cabanas Beach Resort. We paid for the normal sitting position, which is 500 pesos per person. And accessible through a small path behind the beach, you walk up all the way to the zip line station.
Las Cabanas Beach Resort is also one of the oldest resorts in El Nido. If you visit this resort, whether it is for the beach, resort, or the zip lining, be sure to also include two things on your to-do list. Number one, walk to the southern part of the beach and get an amazing view over Pinagbayutan Island and the surrounding scenery. Number two, watching the beautiful sunset over Bakit Bay. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this El Nido Inland Experience episode and hopefully feel inspired for your upcoming trip when visiting El Nido. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button as we will continue on with the Island Boat Tour C in El Nido very soon. Stay tuned.